Christmas, baby. Oh, Do it. yeah. Hey. Oh, we are yeah. Live. TKM we, hasn't been here in a while. Hi, TKM. We are live. Live. Um, and, and this is, ironically, we were just talking about live audiences before we started this live quote unquote show. And this isn't really, I mean, it is live, but it doesn't feel live. You know what I'm saying, guys? Yes. You feel me? Yes. Um, but we're starting to get used to it. When we first started doing skews, it was strange and bizarre talking to an audience that you could not hear them respond. And now, I mean, we do it. We, we turn the, we go live. We start, we start doing our thing and I don't even think about it. I don't even think about the fact that there's no feedback. Like, like right now, you know, I'm talking and I'm getting no response from anybody anywhere. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and, and it doesn't even, it doesn't even, <laughs> it doesn't even weird me out. <laughs> what was that? Was that a baby? That was supposed to be a baby. That's better. Yeah, Brian's, Brian's got it. <laughs> your your sounds like an old man with his thumb uh, stuck in a car door. Eh, I'm doing some racing. Wee, <laughs> wee, wee, wee. I'm a baby. <laughs> I'm a baby. I am crying. I am I crying, am. baby. <laughs> I am crying, baby. <laughs> baby, <laughs> have you ever heard a baby cry that has like a really deep voice oh yeah there was Where? a girl, girl in my dad's church Janie was her name yeah. and she had her father's name was Max and Max had this real deep voice and she inherited her father's deep voice and mm -hmm. when she would cry it sounded like wah 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 <laughs> wah wah <laughs> It's hilarious. Yeah. I've, yeah. I've had a couple of times there's been a baby crying like on a plane. Mm -hmm. And the first time I heard it, it was like, what is that sound? And I turned it <laughs> because it doesn't even sound like a baby. You know, there's a certain there's a certain pitch that you expect all children to yeah. hit. You know, it's supposed to be sort of shrill and high pitched. And yeah. it was like it was like that. Just, it was like, a, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You turn around, it's got a bottle of scotch and a cigar. Yeah. <laughs> like that kid, that kid's voice. It's hilarious. He's already, he already hit puberty and he's still breastfeeding. <laughs> Can we say that? Just I think so. Puberty? Yes. Hey, take a good look at the uh, at the intro, you guys, because this is going to be, this might be the last time we ever see this intro. Ever. Oh, wow. That's kind of cool. Good look at the intro. Look at it. Sign up if you dare. Starving comics everywhere. Coming out of quarantine. So catch the vibe and dig the scene. Take a seat. Gonna grab a snack. Gonna kill the room. Gonna talk some smack. Cutting it down like a lumberjack. Come take a ride in my Cadillac. Kicking it live on the radio. Everybody got a right to know. This ain't my first rodeo. Hit the spotlight. Here we go. Wow. 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 Are you ready for the show? Are you ready for the show? What's up, Melissa the Powers? What's up, K Nerd Mom? What's up, Pat and Gayla Dyser? What's up, Tabisha? What's up, Jessica? What's up, Russ? What's up, Amber? <laughs> Oh, here we go. Juwan is, uh, where? Kicking it live, so be our guest. Everybody gonna be so blessed. Hoping you cats gonna be impressed. Ain't no time to be depressed. Are you ready for the best? We are so ready for the best. Welcome to Skews, everybody. That was nice, Brian. Thank you. Thank you. If I knew you were gonna do that. We would have put you full screen. <laughs> uh, welcome to Skews. Goodness gracious. We are happy that you're here with us. Juwan DeVivo is probably going to be joining us a little later. Um, Brian April is here. Juwan DeVivo's space is there. 
He's he he's lost in time. <laughs> I think he's meeting and or greeting right now. Yeah. Because he's in a little van. <laughs> <laughs> Our interpreter and, Amanda. And the Peaches is, is having trouble with her audio. But I don't she know. Is... Can you even hear this at all? Yes. Yes. We can hear you. We can hear it. But it sounds different from the rest of us. And so one of so these things is not like the other. Right. And it's, I don't know I, what else to do. She's uh, she's saddened by it. Um, but Brian's here, Brian April, and uh, John Thomas Oaks is with us. <laughs> and uh, we are looking forward to a great show. Um, Tabitha has already voiced some um, displeasure at robots again. And that troubles me on a number of levels because uh, first of all, I didn't know that there was ever a time when you had too much robot. It's because she's had to do a bunch of clipping and editing this <laughs> week. And so she's like, no, not more <laughs> robots. Oh, no. okay. okay. Sue J knows what we're talking about too. Sue's had her fill of robot material this week and okay. whole month. Okay. All right. Well, that's fair. Um, if you guys, I, I would, I just thought that maybe it was a criticism of the subject matter. And personally, I don't ever think that I can get my fill of robots. And I know for a fact that our beloved Juan de Vivo spends a great deal of time contemplating, uh, robots. He loves them. Yeah. He's deeply concerned about it. Yep. And so that was the reason that we have this uh this theme again this week so and now he's not here well <laughs> he's, 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 <laughs> right he will be nope. juan how do you feel about robots yeah, we'll get there. <laughs> Did. Um, well i have uh i have a slide prepared here that oh, uh, right. <laughs> i will like show you guys what's the matter with you Tavi would like us to just go ahead and summarize the backstory about Juwan and robots right now so she can clip this out for next week's anniversary show. Oh, okay, well, go ahead, and uh, I have to get ready the slide for how big this show is, so do that, Peach. I might I might wait until Juwan gets back if Tavi reminds us once he gets here because my voice is too quiet and he, it would be better coming from him. But this is a good time to remind everyone that next week, April 2nd, we're having our annual murder mystery and season finale to celebrate all we've done in the last year. And there's a highlight. It's always a highlight special. So you'll see all of your favorite memories. Well, probably not all of them, because honestly, there's too many. But <coughs> most of your favorite memories and um, gags, segments, and games, and all that next week. Bring your friends, because even if they haven't been part of this last season, this will be a good opportunity to catch them up on all the inside jokes at once. Mm -hmm. Or many of the inside jokes all at once. Right. <laughs> that's all inside jokes. Quite, the entire quite. show. Even, even quite, that's quite. an inside joke. <laughs> that yeah. is an inside joke. Yeah, and although I did ask if Manly Bosch was going to make an appearance, and I got a shrug. So we don't know. I wish I could tell you, but my microphone isn't working very well. <laughs> well, we have a huge show tonight. Yeah, I expected no less. Mm -hmm. And if you would like to know how big... I would like even... to know how big. Anybody else? Anybody else want to know how big? You didn't even need to ask, Anybody? but I was going to show you anyway. Well, How if... big is it, John? <laughs> <laughs> if, if you can see this mastodon... I can, can see you? it. Yes, I mm -hmm. see it. Well, right. that mastodon That's... represents a typical show. Tonight's show... Looks a little something like this. Whoa! Whoa. Mm -hmm. Wow! Mm. I like how the Mastodon grew a little bit at the end. It was kind of like, well, it's a big show. Well, maybe it's not that big. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> yeah, it was great. Yeah, the thoroughbred's pretty intimidating. But wow. uh, <clears throat> what I'm saying is it's a big show. But before we get to that, we have got to give a shout out to our clickers. Um, Woo, and, clickers! and in order to do that, I have to play a song, which I wasn't prepared to do either. <laughs> mm. And here we go. Can you hear it? I hear it. 
I hear it. Crickets will make us cheer. Crickets are why we're here. Crickets have got mad skills. Crickets will give us chills. Crickets are on the range. Crickets are live backstage. Crickets are fresh and clean. Crickets are lean and mean. All right, and actually, that's an understatement. All of that stuff about the clickers is an understatement, and we love all of our clickers with equal amounts of uh, with love and gratitude and appreciation. But tonight, we're especially highlighting, in no particular order of importance, uh, Bambi, 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 and Roy, Roy Luke. Luke. Yes, Roy Luke. So thank you, to, especially to Bambi and to Roy. If you would like to become a clicker, we would love to have you in our merry band. It's one of the easiest things you'll ever do and one of the most fulfilling experiences of your life. Just go to johnbrandy.com. Um, there's a couple of levels that you can sign up for. It's super easy to do. Any chimpanzee can do it. And then you can join us at the Afro Party, which is a uh, chance for us to do, sort of deprogram. We talk about all kinds of stuff at the Afro Party upcoming shows, but we never, ever, ever discuss the anniversary uh, murder mystery. We never get to talk about that. Yeah. So if you want to know about that, you have to <clears throat> you have to be here next week. So for those who don't know, we're actually, the, a character is, is being killed off of the show. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. That's normally what happens. It's a, yeah. it's a murder of some sort. We don't know who it is that gets murdered. We hope it's not one of us. I told, I told you on yesterday, but he's the only one who knows. And he's not it here. It's necessary, and he's not here. Um, okay. But somebody, T T K M T yeah, T K M asked, "Why is it always a murder mystery? Uh, where to go?" And mm -hmm. the answer is, "Wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> you have to figure it out." <laughs> That's the answer. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't you like to know? It's a nobody knows. Well, it's it's a murder mystery because it's it's supposed to be a mystery, and murder is <laughs> murder, <laughs> murder the previous season. And the, uh, the 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 murder is a is a higher level. We could make it like a shoplifting mystery, but that's not quite as intense. No, and murder is so close to comedy too. <laughs> they're like they're like cousins. They're like two sides of a coin. The truth is, <laughs> yes, I are. have written. It's because I had written a couple of murder mysteries that were interactive games, like a the, murder mystery theater script yeah. that the audience could participate those are fun. in. I've done several of those, and they were really they worked really well. This is basically our interpretation on the digital live show version <laughs> of those, and it's yeah. nothing like the ones that I've written <laughs> for <laughs> other occasions, but. Right. Here we are, and it's got its own skews flavor now. This is going to be the third one we've done, and so we've kind of hit a bit of a groove, I think, where Tabby and I have a system. But yeah, it's been quite, it's quite. Been intense this last few weeks. So mm -hmm. come next week and watch what we've done. See what we've done. We will try to squeeze it into a, a short... It won't be an hour. There won't be an effort party. It's usually about 90 minutes. We won't do an effort party next week. Um, mm -hmm. and, and you never know. So just to give you an idea of what we've done in the last two seasons, there were special guests. There, was, um, there were re repeats of the same games that we've played throughout the season, but just shorter versions of each of our favorites. Um, music, of course. And Loopers. lots of bloopers, lots of inside jokes, and um, lots of opportunities for you to guess along with, uh, there's always clues, of course, um, that will help you hopefully be able to figure out, I'm adding something this year, by the way, I can tell you this, um, there's always the weapon, the murderer, and the motive, and this year we're adding location, so there's four oh, things you got to figure out, like yeah. the conservatory, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, the library. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, very. Exciting. Oh, there is a location this year. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Yep. So see how very this is cool. this is evolving, and we're getting more and more proficient mm -hmm. and uh, mm -hmm. skilled. 
Oh, and special guests, too. Historically, there have been special guests and, you know, a, a host that some people like. But we'll, we'll wait to see what else pops up. Okay. Um, Tabitha said we murder the previous season, which is kind of <laughs> what we do because yeah. Yeah. It's, the, it's the end of that season and we put it in the grave. Mm, that's yeah. right. We lay it to rest. Yes. And we never speak of it again. Now, the the, uh, the challenge that we're having at this point is that I'm I have an article that I'm wanting to share with everybody to sort of I set the stage it. tonight. You can I know you can see it, but um, oops, but Jawan's not here, oh. and so well wait uh, wait let's check. Jawan he, Cam, Jawan, how are uh, you doing? Hey, nope. buddy, how's it going? <laughs> nope, he's not there yet. <laughs> it's the back of the tour bus. I would recognize that anywhere. Um, all I'm right. Sure that. So uh, so we'll put JT on the spot. Uh, you said that you maybe, maybe would have a song tonight. Yeah, I actually do. I actually do yeah. have a song. He does, and he sent me the lyrics, and I didn't put them in. So That's all right. That would be more of a surprise. This has uh, mm -hmm. nothing to do with murder. Um, okay. But I've been reading, I've been uh, reading your blogs every day, John, and I've been listening to Doug Wilson and I've been reading GK Chesterton and you, and you all are on the same kind of theme right now. And that's where this song came from. So me and Doug Wilson and GK Chesterton. Yeah. Yeah. Like the, it's like a triumvirate there. Yeah. So this is what I came up with. Hear the piano. Okay. It's loud. It needs yeah. to be turned down a little bit. Okay. Turn down. Is that better? Yeah. Okay, here we go. You're ready, Graham? I went home and hardly recognized my little town. Seems like everybody's lighting fires to burn it down. Throwing bricks, throwing shade, tearing down the past. Makes me want to dress in black and fly the flag half mast. Jimmy soda fountains turned into a liquor store. Pastor Barton's chapel stood beside that sycamore. People came from miles around to hear the things he taught. Now there's just a chain link fence around a vacant lot. I need a reason for the chaos. Why is there change and decay in all I see? There's an answer and it's time somebody said it. The problem with the world is me. There's a riot on the streets inside my ruined heart. There ain't nothing standing now that won't be torn apart. I've been stirring up the hornet's nest, no matter who gets hurt. I wonder where I'll go when there ain't nothing left but dirt. I need a reason for the chaos. Why is there change and decay in all I see? There's an answer and it's time somebody said it. The problem with the world is me. I went home and hardly recognized my little town. Seems like everybody's lighting fires to burn it down. But before I take their splinters out, or cast a heavy stone. To point out all their sins, I better take care of my own. I need a reason for the chaos. Why is there change and decay in all I see? There's an answer and it's time somebody said it. The problem with the world is me. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. 
the problem with the world is me. That is that been was that a theme that I've been writing about? <laughs> you may not have realized it, but a lot of your a lot of your blogs have been making me think. Yeah, if if we just all admit that we're sinful people mm. and that we're the problem with the world instead of blaming everybody else for our, for the things that are wrong, I think a lot of stuff would fix itself. And uh, actually, the G.K. Chesterton quote was kind of cool because there was a the, the newspaper. Uh, was put out a question to all these famous people and they sent G.K. Chesterton a letter and they said, what is the problem with the world? And G.K. wrote back, dear sirs, I am sincerely mm -hmm. yours, G.K. Chesterton. <laughs> <laughs> that was his answer. Yeah. So. Yeah. That's great. That's great. Okay. Let's check in on the Juwan cam. Okay. Is it oh, okay? Hey, there he is. Hey, and in the words of Taylor Swift, "Hello, hi, I'm the problem. It's me." <laughs> Whoa, Taylor Swift. Did Amanda go? Did I kick her out? Yeah. <laughs> oh sure. yeah, I'm having I'm having microphone problems, Juan, just to catch you up. But before I do jump out, I do I just remembered that Tabby would really appreciate if you could give like a quick 15 second recap of why you hate robots so much because she's having a really hard time finding all of the pieces from the last season oh. to, pe yeah, to I put never, together, you know. I've never really made a formal uh, a formal argument of my complaint. Well, mm -hmm. I crud. <laughs> and now I don't really, this. I have a hard time actually <laughs> formulating it because it's like... <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> robot i guess the problem for me is like they're we want at least the problem i'm having with the way other humans look at it is they want so bad to have robots become human and they never will be human but maybe they might be just enough that they well they had one that uh has citizenship now in saudi arabia right <laughs> There's a ro there's a robot with AI. She's a citizen of Saudi Arabia, so it's not she's oh, no. a subject of that. So um, maybe I'm just jealous. I don't want anybody else to be called a human. <laughs> maybe that's my problem. <laughs> also, I've been fooled by robots, and they're not robots in the traditional sense. They're they don't have metal skin and walk around, you know, breaking through walls. But uh, I got an argument on Facebook with a bot. Mm -hmm. And uh, Amanda actually pointed out to me. She goes, "That's not actually a person." That's a, she. She goes, "If you respond to them with a picture, they won't be. They won't respond back because they're 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 programmed to read text." So I did it, and the, and it never responded back. So I, <laughs> right after that, I spent about forty five minutes just staring out the window. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, that's so I, that's the story I remember too. When I told so, you they couldn't read pictures, the only text, and that's actually so, changed since then. In the time since that story, they actually are yeah. able to now look at pictures. Images. Some of them can read pictures. Yeah, wow. some of them. Yeah, but that's the thing, I guess. Maybe that was my that was the big betrayal. Was I liked <laughs> robots? They were in all the all the cartoons when I was a kid. We had. Mm -hmm. uh, What's his face from Battlestar? No, from Buck Rogers. <laughs> mm -hmm. What's Twiggy. his name? Beatty. Twiggy. No, Twiggy. Twiggy. Yeah. yeah, he was cool. I had R two D two, C three PO. You know, servants of mankind. But now we're <laughs> arguing with a toaster on the internet. I, I had a crisis, like an existential crisis, at that point. So right, and I trust them no more. From here right. on out, and you were you were afraid that they were going to take over. That was the thing. That I remember that you're like they're advancing, they're coming for us. There's nothing we can do, and we are yeah. complicit in this, and actually, in some ways, helping them. Helping well, them. Remember when we used to like? Remember when we were like? Uh, we found out that our phones were listening to us, and mm -hmm. they're like, "Man, I didn't need. I was just talking about uh, wool blankets. I didn't need any. I was just saying something about it. Now I got targeted ads. Now we're like." Uh, you know, we don't want people to get on our accounts and search for stuff because you're like, dude, you're gonna mess up my algorithm. Right. Gonna get... <laughs> now we're like protecting, we're protecting our algorithm. Don't get on my Netflix account; you'll screw up my algorithm. Right. Yeah. So, right. well, I appreciate that. Stuff. I do appreciate summarizing it, and Tabby appreciates it too. Even though it's still too long, at least it's given her <laughs> somewhere to go. I wish I would have prepared something. 
Do, I'm actually, just, you know what? Blow, put you on full screen. Just be like, I hate robots. They I scare me. I was just going to say that. Yes. Can I do that? Yeah. Put him full screen and just go, okay. I hate robots. I hate robots. They scare me. <laughs> I realize that we're on the internet right now, controlled by robots, but that doesn't make a difference. I'm still <laughs> shook to my core. Yeah. There that. you go, Tabby. <laughs> there you go. Thanks, all guys. Right. All right, and my- um, all right. So here's oh. here's what I want. Oh, the robots you. got her. Uh, do you want? I found a. <laughs> oh yeah. I found a thing um, last week. It was actually Dang. two weeks ago. I found this, <laughs> and I wanted to make you aware of it. And it is called Blended. Have you heard of it? It's, that it sounds is, familiar. It is smoothies made entirely by robots. And oh, so good. You, you, yeah. All of the ingredients and everything are in this little booth. Um, <gasps> and it's a vending. It's like a vending machine. Oh, okay. Yes. It's like a and kiosk. So it looks like this. So yeah. what you do is you, on your phone, you can go to their website. You place an order. And you tell it what you want. You tell it what your blend is and uh, what ingredients you want in it. It's got little sliders that you can slide up and down. Like I want more pomegranate and i want less you know kale or whatever and uh and then the oh, robot yeah. the robot builds it for you wow. and uh, and people are actually like here's a human that's drinking the she's blend. happy mm-hmm. are we sure about this not just an ai generated image <laughs> he looks a little unsure actually look well, at that smile right. <laughs> it is a little <laughs> uncertain <laughs> mm-hmm. that's what i wanted to to show you and that was that first kiosk is one of them and then uh and then one of the robots and this is the other robot that i found um what, see, that was what's like, going on here what is well the, the drink is coming out of its head uh and then and then this is the robot oh. that i thought would be the most <laughs> <laughs> where it's whipping up your smoothie that's well that's the part they didn't show mm-hmm. in the movie is that ultron started out as a as a smoothie machine <laughs> and then the but AI took over. How do you, how do you feel about trusting, you know, trusting AI to actually make food for you? To actually, yeah, make your food. Yeah. And then yeah. all of a sudden, you know, I feel like that picture of the lady with the smoothie, it sounded like, or it looked like, like the robot told her that, you know, humans were the problem. Like at some, at some point, mm-hmm. will the robot develop a angsty teenager persona? <laughs> start muttering at people under their breath <laughs> one day this will be all over what's that uh, enjoy your day i hope you had enough well if you, if you would like to become an investor in blended you can go to what? blended.com and you've got you've got three weeks two days four hours 32 minutes and 43 seconds it's still uh before it what a robotic answer to what a robotic time. it's mm-hmm. like you have right, precisely so- I don't know. I, I embrace our robotic overlords. <laughs> I, for I, one. Yep. I, well, it's. What? Oh, am I behind? I keep feeling like I either I'm running over you guys or something. But anyway, yeah. Well, because the, the operation of making a smoothie is so labor intensive. Because mm-hmm. you got to like peel bananas. Those are, that's hard. And then uh, <laughs> chopping. <laughs> Chopping that little leafy bit off the top of the strawberry. That's crazy. Yeah. Yep. You got to like peel bananas. That's hard. Yeah. (laughs) Then you open a yogurt cup. That's pretty, that's, that's hard, man. I can Mm -hmm. see why we did that. I'm sure. (laughs) Was that, were there other things we skipped to the robots? Because right now, well, there's our, I don't want to see, I got too much stuff going on in my head. Right now, there's robots that can hold guns. Didn't yes, know if you knew that. Yeah. But uh, that's great. It's so not I even that it can hold a gun, it can shoot a gun. Mm-hmm. Right, it can mm-hmm. shoot guns. So why don't we, smoothies was you. the next logical step. It was like, oh, all the engineers sitting around, they're like, you know, we can make cars, we can build buildings, we can even... Uh, Mm-hmm. build a small army of robots with guns uh why don't i make smoothies that, that's like the yeah. next thing <laughs> yeah so you're, you're missing the the plot for like these new movies it's always been like we will create the super weapon and destroy the earth and now they're like 
we will give smoothies to everyone. <laughs> well, every it's a progression, isn't it? I mean, you don't go from you don't go from a robot that vacuums the floor to a robot that blows up the planet. There's smoothies would be the next logical thing in the middle between those two. Between mm -hmm. between vacuuming the floor and doomsday, you've got smoothies. And right? as you all know, I, I am I am on Team Doomsday, so I am on Team Asteroid. Yay. Team Take him out. Yep. Okay. <laughs> so I would have a slogan, I'd be like, same great smoothie without the attitude. <laughs> or without people. Lobo without raspberry. people. There we go. Even better. Without people. <laughs> Drink your smoothie and utter and utter aloneness, utter silence. That's right. right. Except for the well, whirring of gears. That is the best uh, segue that I could ask for because I've created a game that <gasps> what that I've intend and I intend like the other games that I have done for robots. The the goal is to put you at ease, Juwan, not to ratchet up your anxiety. Okay? <laughs> and so uh, this is a little I don't game. Know, I'll Smoothie mo making Ultron's not helping me out that much, but okay. Well, we'll do get proceed. This little game called Robots Can. Uh, Yay! Be anything they choose to be. Let's be robot okay. positive. Right. Love it. And so this is. He's got I'm a stinking to... axe in his other hand. He's got a. <laughs> he's taking a shovel, and he's got like a hard iron bar in the other one. Well, that's yeah. where you. That's where you put the bodies. Is that a, is that a shallow grave? He's not digging a grave. He's look, he's obviously out in a field somewhere. It's like he's a prison yard. He's where else? Where, where better place than to dig a grave than out in the field? They'll never find it. No, he's getting the field. He's getting the infield ready for the season opener. You guys. Yeah. So you're trying to calm Juan down. I'm trying to ratchet him up to a thousand. <laughs> that's that's the goal. I mean, we haven't even started talking about robot baseball yet. Yeah. <laughs> so what we're run. going to do is I've, I've got some tasks on the following slides and it, robots can do the thing and your job and the uh, everybody's job here, the uh, studio audience as well, is to, which we don't have a studio, is to <laughs> say whether or not this is true or, or not. Robots can do this thing. For example, I think it's the first one. Robots can... Uh, be jockeys. Do you think that is a thing that they are? Yes. Doing or, or, uh, I believe that it seems like a thing yes. that it's pretty automatic. I'm not sure. Like the horse could just, if you just whack the horse in the butt, it's going to go. It doesn't matter what's on top of it. So mm -hmm. I could see so it being think, a. So you a see jockey. The, the jockey is unnecessary, even if it's a human? Right. <laughs> right. I, sorry <laughs> if you're in the audience and you're a jockey. It seems like the, <laughs> like the luge, you know? Like you can just put a lump on a luge, right? <laughs> well, I mean, in, in dog is, racing, nobody should be a jockey, let alone when, when they do <laughs> dog racing. They actually have a mechanical uh, arm which has the rabbit on it, which makes the dogs run because you don't have a you don't have jockeys on dogs. So yeah. I'm going to go ahead and say yes. Okay. Which I would rather see jockeys on dogs. That would be awesome. It would, it would be. be <laughs> <laughs> little tiny, little tiny jockeys. I'd rather see the animals on the people and have the people run. Yeah, there you have go. the jockeys people run. The greyhound greyhound jockeys. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> carrying a greyhound on the shoulder. The greyhound's got his head out. That sounds know, the like window. a Python skit. Um. All right. So, the, so the idea is. Uh, uh, some people say yes. Or some split, people say I yes. Think. Some people say no. I don't have a consensus. Um. Kind of all over a lot the map. Of saying false. But Juwan, you said yes, and Brian yeah, said yes, and JT yeah. said yes. So you guys are all agreed that robots can be jockeys, and you are correct. Wow, they are. Uh, <laughs> they are as we as we speak. How, do you jockeys. know anything about like whether they've raced, been in a race like against humans or anything? Or? Of course I do. What the horses? No the. <laughs> The robots have they raced against human jockeys? Well, flesh uh, and blood? let me uh, let me fill you in. Uh, robotic <laughs> jockeys sit on camels waiting for the start of a race at the Dubai Camel Racing Club. So, uh, so jockeys are are actually riding on camels. Mm. Uh, 
Okay. Robot jockeys were introduced in 2003, so it's been going on for a while. They wow. were 2003. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Cumbersome and heavy um, at that time. But today, uh, remote control robots, which even resemble jockeys, I assume human jockeys, weigh <laughs> only a few pounds. Right. And so they just ride those camels around and it works like a charm. I'm sure so, that's why they went with camels because they were so heavy. Like mm-hmm. horses would probably barely be able to walk. Anyway, well, well, that and they would they would throw them off. It's interesting because you would need to know like the when when to take it in. Uh, sorry, mm-hmm. people don't know horse racing or whatever. When to take it in the rail? When to you know push? When to ease off? Oh. Interesting. There's a lot of <laughs> stuff that goes on. So I'm Italian. I grew up on. around. My my preschool was was a, a racetrack, so <laughs> yeah. uh, that's how I learned like, math. Yeah, that's what they say. They take you to learn odd. <laughs> you need to know when to take it to the rail. You need to. That's know right. To, you know. Yeah. Yep. Right. Reading, writing, and trifectas. That's that's what you learn. <laughs> Robots can be women. Oh my gosh! Uh, <laughs> well, this one holding a baby, but I mean women. You know, in every sense of the word, they they can. Uh, in real, real, the real world or in clown world? It's a hard. <laughs> that's what I was gonna say. It's a hard. It depends mm-hmm. on the dictionary, I guess, that you're using. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna uh, go ahead and say no. I'm gonna. Well, say like, no. so you got um that Al Pacino movie, wasn't it? Where was it called? Her or something? It was Scent, of a, it was... Scent <laughs> of a robot. <laughs> 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 Who are Where's you, baby? Who I'm are out of order? You're out of order. Uh, and then I guess the personalities can be female. Uh, but you said every sense of the word, and so yeah, robots can be women. No, I've seen the... people getting married to their robots. That was that was nice. <laughs> I'll go ask me for definitions. No, I say yes because it's against my sensibilities. Yeah, so that was yes. my first question. But the women Mar- are replacing John said like they every replace jockeys. Works. They can replace women. Like you don't need women anymore. You can get a robot to do everything that women can do. That's the so. And you're saying no. I say yes. I say they can't. Oh, you say yes. Be okay. women. <laughs> Because what a bold thing! Because to say. you said you said every sense of the word, and so as far as, as far as my research has shown, yes. <laughs> Knowing what you know about robots and women, you think that they can? <laughs> Wait, I'm not trying to say. I'm not. I'm not trying to Do make any statements of about women. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I can't talk to either, and they both make me mad. <laughs> Uh, what what did you say? And they have team? an error message when I touch them. I said no. <laughs> okay. The, no. Uh, the correct answer is true, but not okay. yet. Look at Tabby's so, last comment right there. That they're making artificial wombs. See, that's the see. last thing I saw, and I went, "If they can put that in a robot." Mm-hmm. Uh, the word "b" is what's getting me on this one. The mm-hmm. definition of the word B. Yeah. Right. What? Right. Biologically, <laughs> a woman is an adult human female. So. I, now, okay. I, I have issues with this. This it's, The answer is false. It, it's not true, but not yet. No, it's and You true. can say that about anything. They, they Rocks can, can fly. It's true. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> right, right. Just give me a they, second. It could be anything. No, let's no. No, I, I veto this. I flatly reject that is a false. Just make an appeal to the true. judges. <laughs> true, but not uh, yet. Brian. Robots point, can Brian. turn into invisible, you know, things. True, <laughs> but not yet. Not mm-hmm. yet. That's right. The, they, the, no. the point, the point no. Brian, that we're trying to make here. No, is that robots can be absolutely anything, but they're not. But it's not yet. Okay, so so the answer is either going to be true or true, but not yet. Those don't. Uh, be <laughs> that's so you're so because the title of the game is it's rigged. Robots can it's be robots whatever they want to be. Right. The game is rigged. Okay. So it's not true or okay. false. It's true and true, but not yet. Gotcha. But catching right. on. <laughs> so gotcha. robots can be actors. True. They already are. 
Did you see? Did you see Phantom Menace? Yes. Did you see Twilight? <laughs> yep. Did <right>. you see? <laughs> well, those were CG though. Gone with the Wind. Lots of robots. <laughs> so many robots. <laughs> and Gone with the Wind. This one looks like he's getting ready for an MMA match. Yeah. I don't know if he's acting. Well, that one's that what one's coming it? up. Oh. <laughs> So uh, everybody's everybody's going to say true. Everybody's saying true. Nobody's saying false on that. See, that's what's funny about this. It's like everybody. Well, of course, of course, robots can be actors. Sure, of course. Did you see Chappie? Did you see Short Circuit? Now you understand that those were like CG, <laughs> right? It's not so, Short Circuit. That was a real circuit, robot. Yeah. Short Circuit was practical. It was not a real robot. Lost in space. <laughs> yep. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Warning, Get with the Robinson. times, John. Warning. You got it. Well, the yeah. Iron Giant. I mean, come on. Battle, Battlestar mm-hmm. Galactica. Yeah. Well, Real the steel. answer to this is true. Totally um, true. Even totally. true now. In the, the well, <laughs> engineered, yeah. engineered Arts, a British company, has created a fully interactive and multilingual robot called Robo Thespian. <laughs> Acting. And it's controlled by a tablet. It can hold eye contact, <laughs> guess a person's <laughs> mood and age, break into song, and soon we'll be able to walk <laughs> what? and jump. Now, see, if you uh, stretch the definition of an actor so far that you don't hate need to even be able to walk, hop, or jump, and you can be controlled by a tablet, then yeah, robots can be actors. <laughs> I just think it would be funny if in one scene he does all those things, breaks into songs, speaks in different languages, uh, and stares at people. Yeah, mm-hmm. <laughs> it's just really, really hard eye contact. Uh, That'd get him a couple of jobs. I like the game a, a receding hairline. That was nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I thought it was great that, that that's one of the things that made the list is hold eye contact. How the reason mm-hmm. it's hard to hold eye contact is because when you feel you feel weird doing it to a human, but a robot, I mean, well, how would it be hard to hold eye contact for a robot? <laughs> he doesn't even blink. No, he wins a staring contest. <laughs> of course, robots can be preachers. <laughs> Yep. Pretty sure about say, that one. That's not even a say, whole yep. Bible. It looks like it's a half a Bible. It's just the it's just the left side. <laughs> uh so I, maybe yes. it depends on it depends on the dot de- denomination, I guess. Uh Ooh. I, I <laughs> <into trouble. laughs> uh there's a lot of truths on that. There's a, there's Oh, I can he could definitely have a Baptist robot preacher. <laughs> You could have like a faith healing one, and then if like the person doesn't get up and walk, they just the robot just grabs them and just walks with them. You could that would be make him into a puppet. You yeah, him exactly. Turns into a convalescent. <laughs> Makes him a smoothie. <laughs> um, We're sorry we did not heal you today. Complimentary <laughs> smoothie. Drink, drink this green energy drink. So uh, everybody's saying yes. This is probably true. Um, I want to say true, but not yet. <laughs> you know, we're still waiting on the. Uh... And the answer is true. But... Yeah. <laughs> Heck I'm yeah! Right, Brian. Are you sure? Um, so they haven't they haven't made a robot that's actually leading services because we're a lot of people just do online church anyway. So they're just watching right. videos. So why not feed that audio through a robot? Well, I want. Let's let's think about th- those of you who go to church. Try to imagine whether or not you would tolerate that. Would you would you sit and watch a robot uh, deliver a sermon? Would I that, would think that people who that go work? to online quote church would would be okay with that because online church sounds like an oxymoron to me. Well, I was gonna say if they could do like remember how they did the concerts with Tupac. Yeah. After he passed away, they had like yeah, the yeah. hologram and stuff. So if, like if I could watch Spurgeon, you know, <laughs> mm-hmm. do a that maybe I would actually be okay with that. Like yeah. legendary preachers. 
I was I uh, as a kid going to, to to mass in the morning. I know a lot of priests that acted and sounded like robots. Yeah. <laughs> If you get stuck, though, uh, <laughs> if you get stuck in a, in a loop, you'll never leave. Right. Well, the consensus <laughs> is, <laughs> like, if you were going to watch a, if you were going to watch a robot preach, though, that would be a novelty, right? You wouldn't do, you wouldn't go there like week after week after week <laughs> to listen to a robot preach. I at you? some point. I at some point could see people saying, you know, he makes some pretty good points. It just, you know, when I when I leave there, I'm refreshed, I'm encouraged. Yeah. Yeah. But an online church is not really you're not really watching a robot. You're watching a, a human. It's a video, but it's not a machine. That's my point. You're not I don't think people would go and watch a machine preach. Except to do it like once and say, and maybe take pictures, you know, hey, we went to robot church. I don't know. <laughs> I think it was really fun. I think there would be a large group of people that would just go, I mean, and just watch. They do it with TV, they do it with whatever. They'll do it with slot machines. So they'll, they'll sit for hours just watching something Ooh, to feed them stuff. So that's a good um, point. There are, there, there are people who are, are with the AI that's going on, they're recreating. Uh, like Seinfeld episodes, all and oh my just gosh, that actually four hours a day. Oh yeah, but gosh. they're terrible. It doesn't matter. <laughs> you, it doesn't matter. It's the people are watching it. The we didn't say it had to be well, good. I was gonna say the it's way good, people... but not yet, John. They're good, <laughs> yeah. but not yet. The way people do, uh, the way people do stuff now is um, they start off laughing at it, and then it becomes like pencils, thin mustaches, and Bass Pro hats. People were wearing them, going in. It's hilarious. I got a Bass Pro hat, and now it's like I got to get a Bass Pro hat. It's the coolest thing. Just takes, uh, robots like, can be gamers. Oh, that's true. Uh, they are already yes. Yes, mm. actually. True. True, but already happened. Is that's the third category? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, like we used to play this game called uh, Unreal Tournament, and you could play against bots on mm-hmm. there. It's just uh, it was a shoot 'em up game, first person shooter. Yeah, I had those that game. bots, man. Now, yeah, whether a robot can hold like hold an Xbox controller, and uh, I don't know about that yet. But well, do you consider chess a game? Oh, sure. You know, so I mean, yeah. it's a game. Yes, computers go way back. Yeah. It's not a game, Brian. It's a way of life. <laughs> That's true. And the answer like, is true. Yeah, but not that robot. Not that robot. No. And that He's made out of Legos. <laughs> they have uh, won the game of Go. Um, they've also they've also won chess, of course. But Go is even more complicated, and. Uh, deeper strategy and you can play them in Catan, but they won't trade their sheep. <laughs> no sheep Inside trade. joke. <laughs> Stupid or <machine>. game joke. <laughs> I, I just need some bricks. Give, <laughs> give me your sheep. Somebody give me a brick. Wretched robot. I will choke. I will unplug <laughs> you. Yeah. Uh, the Deep Blue took down the celebrated chess master Gary Kasparov. And then uh, the, the game Go is much more complicated than chess. Variables are virtually infinite. Um, but the machine beat two um, of the greatest uh, Go players. Um, they, what is and, Go? I've never. Chip. The black and I've white. Never... The little black and white circles. Circles. Mm-hmm. that was like called Othello. Othello. That's what I thought it was called. It's a little yeah. bit like a fellow, but it's mm-hmm. an ancient. It's a Chinese game, isn't it, John? It's oh, a, yeah. Yeah. that's okay. where a fellow came from. Mm. All right, yeah, I thought you were talking so about Othello. CS Go. <laughs> <laughs> Othello is the tic tac toe version of of Go, is what you're saying. Uh, it's like almost, for, it's yeah. almost the same game, I think. Plus, haven't yeah. you like, seen well, War Games? We all know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. My, uh, Matthew Broderick, right? <laughs> yep. Shall we play a game? Uh huh. <laughs> Let's play. That global. was with floppy disks. Yeah, I don't for real. Those anymore. Uh, robots can be divers. <laughs> <laughs> You're just antagonizing me now, John. <laughs> You're just antagonizing me. 
<laughs> well, are you? Are we talking about Olympic divers or just like belly flop? Because there's definitely a difference. Because <laughs> one, you just fall in the pool, which can happen. <laughs> Like we were talking about Deep Blue being a good chess player. He also can belly flop quite well. Once he can do it. Uh, once. I gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> what, do you, what do you think, guys? Can they- True, what but that- only if it falls and stumbles. <laughs> <laughs> just, only, just kind of goes. Only if by yeah. dive you mean falls in water. <laughs> I, would I think, I think I saw on the Boston Dynamics there was a robot doing gymnastics. Yeah, so, so if they can do gymnastics, they can certainly be divers. <laughs> now the question can, is, at least is it can yet? <laughs> is it the yet answer. or not yet? That's the that's answer. the real you question. Go. You're right. It's true, <laughs> but not yet. I want to throw they something. Are- <laughs> fully capable. Fully capable. We're working on it. Just not doing it yet. Um, all right, next I love how that looks like a uh, Chanel commercial too. For- uh, <laughs> robots can be fortune tellers. <laughs> Do you count the magic eight ball as a robot? Predicting the well. I mean, predicting the actual future. I mean, this robot would be like, "There's pain." Like in your I future. said, the magic <laughs> yeah, eight ball. like that. The magic eight ball has actually predicted my future several times. What? <laughs> wow. Several out of how many? What's the what's the percentage on that one? <laughs> this so guy looks like that, he has a magic. Yeah. Does that mean that little like paper thing <laughs> the that the paper paper would do? Yeah. Is that, is that oh, robot? that'd be great. Yep. Pick what a if color. the robot Blue, was B-L-U-E. doing the paper thing? Yeah. Pick a number. Paper. Eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You're a loser. All right. There yeah. we go. <laughs> uh, the, the people are saying yes, 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 yes. They can, they can be fortune tellers. Like with. Christian I mean, if Walls it worked for Dion Warwick, could a mm-hmm. could a machine not do this? Can a machine? What not about? Be, and she's a woman. I feel too, like. So. I feel like a lot of our social media can tell our future anyway. It's like <laughs> you're about to have a hamburger. I'm like, yeah, yep. you're pretty right. Yeah, <laughs> pretty close. Um, they already know us so well. How the do you know that? Is I just true, made you. but not yet. <laughs> no. They don't actually predict the future, but the they will. But they will, right? <laughs> uh, robots can be anesthesiologists. <laughs> I thought that was a name at first, Anesthesi. <laughs> you know that, a, that famous yeah. tennis player, Anesthesiologist? Yep. Mm-hmm. Can be Anesthesiologist. That is that true. Is, should be. Man. I think mm-hmm. it's true, but because uh, uh, in Star Wars, you got that floating robot that uh, tortured Princess Leia. She had, had yeah. the big needle. Mm-hmm. Yep. The big black ball mm-hmm. that floats around. Mm-hmm. But I think I think they'd still need a person to say we need ten cc's of Morphe stat yeah. and come out jab you and accidentally put like twenty or thirty in there. So I mean, thing, no, it's such if, a if they can balance. make smoothies, there's no difference really between making a smoothie and, and doing <laughs> anesthesia. So I'm going to say yes, and, pre- right and prepping someone for open heart surgery. Yeah, <laughs> there's, there's not a big difference. You know, they're not going to mix it up and be like, oh, we. Tried to make you feel numb with kale. Sorry. <laughs> you did cut the top off of that kale. Who looks a smoothie robot in here? <laughs> uh, the answer is true. True. Yeah, true, even true. now, huh? Yeah. They are doing it now. Yeah. And they're actually doing a, uh, a better job than a lot of. Uh, <laughs> I mean, anesthesiologist no. is one of the highest paid professions. Yeah. That there is, and the robots are 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 doing it. They're uh, yeah, they do some robot assisted surgeries. That's true. They have a suturing a suturing ro- robot that like stitches people up, and it is more efficient and faster than you know. You have to and, then it, and then it also vacuums the room when it's done. So. <laughs> But yeah, they've done surgeries from you know a different uh, country or a different continent, and they just uh, they can do it robotically. Mm-hmm. Man, 
Does the robot, the, the anesthesiologist robot, have like several jugs in it that like you you could pick your pick your poison, so to speak? <laughs> it's like kind of just rotates between the cylinders. You got morphine and then oxycontin or something. And you can you, yeah, you can bump one up and one down and yeah. make your own blend yeah. of anesthesia. Uh, robots, robots can. can. Uh, true, but not yet. Being I think married. I do know. I think they get this person's people getting married to robots, but I've never seen a robot propose. That's the difference. <laughs> I've also needed. I've never seen a robot uh, pick out China. That's probably another limitation. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Being married. So are they? I, I guess the, the the question is: Is it is it a thing that they can do? Can they be? It's growth. Can, can we make can a God, robot? Can we make God part of the picture here? Because if we, that would change my answer. <laughs> <laughs> like <laughs> actual, like crazy. actual marriage is what you're saying. Right, right, right. Can a robot right. almost fix a toilet, but not quite? Then he's ready to be a husband. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, I don't know. What's the consensus? Everybody's saying I'm false. Say no. No, no. Sorry, no, no, no. I'm going to say true, but Why? not yet. Mm-hmm. Just you wait. True, but not yet. Uh, it, I will be yeah. shocked if there isn't people, if there aren't already people who have married machines in some fashion. Mm-hmm. Some and then way. there will come a day, there there will have to come a day where there will be legislature to uh, control well, that. And some guy that. some guy had a mummy for, for a girlfriend and then he found out later that it was a a guy, remember that recently? <laughs> That's right. No. Got yeah, catfished. Yeah, he got catfished by the mummy. Yeah, he had this mummy had been in his family for like generations. Catfished by a sarcophagus. Yeah. <laughs> so this is a real story. I'm not lying. Oh god. Yeah, some scientists so analyzed the mummy and they found out it was a guy, and he'd been calling it his girlfriend all these years. And and that was the problem. That it wasn't actually a female mummy. That was what. <laughs> yeah. That's the line. That's what grossed him out. Yep. Uh, <laughs> right. Those are the kind of people that will marry a robot. And well, yeah, they're crazy. <laughs> <laughs> they're <laughs> whack. But well, that's not a prere- They're crazy. Oh, well, that is a prerequisite mummy. of marriage. In my book, marriage is between one man. And one, one dead wrapped body from <laughs> 3000 years dynasty <laughs> catfished by a sarcophagus. Yep. One carcass. All right. <laughs> Robots can be comedians. Oh. Uh I say True. no. I mean not yet. Oh no. I I've, uh, I've been robotic on stage many 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 nights. <laughs> Cuz the, the chat GPT thing <laughs> By the way, here's the thing about Chat GT, GPT or whatever. And uh-huh. I, it, it woke me up in the middle of the night. I was like, if they're allowing the public to play with this artificial intelligence, what is the stuff that they're not that's out there that's not uh, not quite public just yet? Yeah. Maybe those mm-hmm. are the comedians. Who are like, just wait till we release the comedian mm-hmm. robots out there. Right. right. But uh, that when people try to do jokes with Chat GPT, it's not good. It's usually not funny. Nah. Yeah, it depends on the uh, the inputs that you give it. Mm-hmm. Oh, have you done Brian, funny? Oh yeah, Brian did an intro. Did, Brian did a negative intro for himself a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> it was hilarious. That was great. It was. That was really funny. That's fantastic. Yeah, but yeah, the, do you have that still? We could read it in the Afford party. Yeah, I think. Do you still have it, Brian? Uh, probably. Let me okay. find it. The answer is uh, true, but not yet. There, oh. there are no actual robots doing stand-up um, yet, but it's certainly going to, as Brian said, there are way. some people that could easily be replaced by robots. <laughs> I'm um, one of them. They could be replaced by a Roomba. All right. <laughs> uh, and finally, robots can be SKU's contributors. Yeah. Well, if you if you count the robots that control bank accounts in Switzerland and things like that, then yes. <laughs> how do they control? How do they contribute? Well, because they can 
it could siphon people's money into our bank accounts. And that way they can be contributors to us. Oh, you're they're not necessarily contributor. part of the you're, click, but they saying. can't hack. They'll hack other people's accounts. I was using contributor to mean that they contribute content to the show. That oh, they participate in the actual definitely true. creation and delivery of content. I think we kicked somebody off last week. That was not their mm -hmm. Yeah, we did. <laughs> we, mm -hmm. That's wild. Well, it, and the uh, the answer to this question is true, and it's what? already happening. Every single one of the pictures in this quiz was generated by a robot. Oh. Whoa! Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh! All there you of go. them I feel dirty. Yeah. So, <laughs> so do we have to take a commercial break? <laughs> Not that we're at the end of our. <laughs> Uh, do we? Can we? Uh, well, you know what? I can save it for the show, the anniversary show, next week. Can we if do that? That is permitted. I don't know what the. Okay. Well, we will see. We we can talk about it on Polo. And my we'll the commercials if... evergreen, so we can yes. put it off for ten years from now and it'll still be freaking we'll hilarious. We'll see. So. We'll see. Ten I'll years from to tonight. Juan. I'll talk to Juan on Polo, and then we'll see if another pickup truck drives into a field while we're on video <laughs> chat together, because that happened this week. Is that what happened? I was super distracted. I literally You're just sitting in the library. <laughs> yep, I was in the library. I looked up my phone to say, hey, Juwan. I pushed record, and I was like, hey, Juwan. And then I see right past me out the giant window, this guy just drove right into the field. It looked like he did it on purpose. Like, I don't know if he was trying to pull a U-turn and just like slipped off, but he just drove directly into the field and then he couldn't get out. He, he drove forward like several feet and I was like, oh, he's going to make it. And then he's just no, spinning and didn't. spinning and throwing dirt. Oh. So he backed up several feet and plowed again. Never did make it without the help of a, a nice stranger who came and put a tow rope on him. So anyway. You can always rely on the kindness of strangers. Yeah. But anyway, I just want to say that game was great and all, but I have a little, I take a little bit of issue with it because mm -hmm. the full title was Robots Can Be Anything They Choose To Be. And so you're oh. being pretty presumptive when you say true but not yet. I mean, you're definitely assuming that one day they will choose to be <laughs> comedians or... Right pastors or whatever right and of course they will i don't know i'm just saying <laughs> anyway you can support the show by going to johnbrandian.com and joining the click and um then you especially if you're a robot then we will take your money <laughs> And we will use it to give you plenty of advertisement lots of air time will be dedicated bitcoin's to fine Yes. <laughs> Join us in the effort party right after the show, and we will continue. Oh, actually, tonight in the effort party, I'm going to show you guys the video of the Filipino diving team. Have I ever showed this on SKUs before? No. Oh, my gosh. You were talking about robot divers, and I have to. Anyway. Yeah, <laughs> it's so we have good. To see it. It's so funny. It's so okay. good. That's so Juwan is currently on the road, uh, so go to castingcrowns.com if you want to see if he's going to be coming near you anytime soon. Also, mm -hmm. go visit johnthomasoaks.com to uh, support JT, tear-jerking composer. I'll be in Hope, Moses. Indiana next weekend. <laughs> oh, yeah? Yeah. Where? At Will Leaves of Hope. It's a antique okay. store slash dinner theater. Oh, oh. cool. All righty. So Indiana... Cool. Uh, and then Brian, <laughs> Brian, true, but not yet April. <laughs> <laughs> Will be. You can see his Raging. channel, youtube.com slash comedy Brian. Make sure you send him all of your robot news. He loves that kind of thing. All the things that are true, but just not yet. <laughs> all. <laughs> All these hosts are going to be with us at Fake Hope Comics, presumably, hopefully, but also more comedians than just the ones on screen for sure. We just got confirmation that Isaac Witte is coming with his wife, Kristen, so that's a full Yay. six comedians again. 
And that'll be fun. And also, next week, April 2nd, we're having our murder mystery anniversary show episode. <laughs> Somebody's about to die. And you mm. need to tell us who it... Well, no. You need to tell us who Warrior, did it. I will Jim tell you who it is. <laughs> Wouldn't that be a fun mystery? Warrior you have to food. figure out... Wouldn't it be fun Valkyrie. if you had to figure out who died? That be? <laughs> Valkyrie needs food. Badly. 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 Right, and, and... Toby Bruce ate the food. <laughs> That's how we're going to do the credits tonight. We're going to do it like the voice from Gauntlet. The Gauntlet. voices from Gauntlet. Yeah. Oh, I wanted somebody to cry like a deep-voiced baby. But... That was the other thing I thought about doing. Do it like wow. a like a baby with, <laughs> with a baritone voice. We'll do both. Right. Whatever you want to do. Ready, go. All right. Here we go. Wow. The comedy click wow. needs food. Badly. Brian April shot the food. <laughs> Mel Beckman <laughs> needs food badly. Uh, Cindy Fry. Uh, Rachel King. Don't uh, shoot uh, food. Taylor Mason is about to die. Black <laughs> <laughs> food. Ethan <laughs> Snell needs <laughs> food. <Badly. laughs> <Ryan laughs> Williams shot the food. That was so lame. <laughs> 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 Tonight's show is brought to you by 100% Organic Humans.